All right, good morning, copiers. Today is Friday, the 27th of November. That means it's time for my copier update. All right, it's been quite a, a week. I'd like to start off first by thanking all my current and new copiers. Um, I've hit 10 million AUM over the past week, nearly five and a half thousand copiers. It's been great. Thank you very, very much. Uh, this is hitting this level of AUM is partially because people have added uh, funds that have copied me, but also because we've had really good returns through this year. So for the month, we're currently up 15.5%. Um, we'll see what today brings uh, as well as Monday, um, but I, I suspect that we're going to close this month at a record for the year. That's great. Uh, this means that my lifetime return on eToro is now 523%. So if you had copied me with $10,000, when I started on eToro, you would now have 623, uh, $62,300. My math is a little crazy today. <laughs> um, all right, so a summary for the week gone. So first of all, I wanted to take a look at positions I've been closing. Um, for those of you that, that watch closely, and I know there are quite a few of you, you will have seen that I've been building up my cash position taking profit in some of the higher beta stocks over the past week, um, as well as taking a little bit of profit in crypto um, prior to the to the sell-off. I didn't mention the, the Dropbox and Intel positions last week, so I've sold those at a loss. Um, I've been considering this for a while. Uh, both of those companies are facing very tough competition, and I'm not seeing them do anything that's going to um, help them beat out that competition in the short or medium term. Uh, and they might be in trouble in the long term. So sometimes things go wrong with your positions and you need to close them out. And you know, that is the name of the game. Uh, obviously, two, uh, these two positions over here for off of Slack, the Salesforce is in talks to buy Slack. That's all the stock pop quite nicely yesterday. Today, it looks like there's gonna be a little bit of profit taking from what I've seen. Uh, Pre-market is a, a, a quite negative. Um, that might bounce again, but we will only know what the final price will be for Slack when we know the details of how much Salesforce, if Salesforce is buying Slack, how much they are buying them for. And that'll ultimately set the, the stock price. All right. Um, another hot topic at the moment is obviously cryptos. So they have bounced off of highs, recent highs. This was always going to happen. Um, and that's part of why I took took a little bit of profit at the time that I did. So uh, cryptos are volatile. Everyone knows that in theory, but when a big sell-off happens, uh, people tend to, to become quite fearful. I'm not too worried about these. It's not a huge portion of our portfolio, first of all. And second of all, um, I think they needed a bit of a rest before the next leg up. So I will continue to hold the positions that I have. Um, one or two of you also noticed that I picked up a, a, a gold position, GLD, um, which is free of fees. And this is because gold has really taken a beating over the past few, I, think, I guess, month or so, month and a half, maybe longer. Um, it's sitting on, on a, a support at the moment. And gold tends to rise towards the end of one year and the beginning of the next as Asia starts buying up gold for Chinese New Year. Um, but also, I think stocks have run hot for a long time and it's prob they're probably due a bit of a consolidation. Gold is likely to do quite well through a consolidation. So it's, it's a hedge, uh, but also a little bit more strategic than that. All right, in terms of what we what is likely to happen today, uh, today is a short trading day. I think all of the US indexes will close halfway through their trading day. Uh, yesterday they were all closed for Thanksgiving and a lot of people are on holiday. So even though the indexes might be open, there are far fewer people trading. I expect volumes to be quite low through next week too because uh, a lot of people take the whole two week period off in the US. The so US indexes are looking slightly green. Stocks in those indexes um, are looking kind of a mixed bag, some slightly green, some a bit green. So. Uh, there could be a lot of volatility today because there are fewer people participate, participating in the market. Um, 
So I wouldn't take the direction today to be the direction of the market in general. All right, so what is happening in the coming week? What might influence the coming week? Um, it's looking more and more likely that Trump will publicly concede. Uh, and this would mean a lot more certainty for the US market, which you know the markets love. But also it means that we are getting closer to a US stimulus deal, which means a lot more money printing, a lot more money in the hands of uh, the citizens of the United States of America, which has been historically very good for the market. And the market will anticipate this and probably rally once uh, news about this firms up. Chinese stocks are doing very well. The, the, China is one of the few countries that, has, that will experience GDP growth through this year, uh, whereas most of the countries won't. Um, and they've got a lot of big retailers um, that will be doing very well through this period. Uh, in terms of the UK, so I think there are still quite a few opportunities in the UK market. There's been a double or triple whammy on the stocks uh, within UK indexes. And this is not necessarily justified. It's mostly around negative sentiment for Brexit. Our government's done a horrific job at handling the pandemic. Um, but it looks like the time for UK stocks might be coming. So I'm keeping an eye on a few businesses there. I already own a few companies within the UK um, and I believe they will do very well over the next year or two. It's going to be a bit of a slow burn. I don't think UK stocks <laughs> rally as fast as US stocks tend to. Uh, we're going to see a lot of um, attention around retail stocks for the next month or so. Black Friday today, Cyber Monday, next Monday, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, all of the sales after that. So investors are going to start anticipating the huge increase in uh, retail revenues, Amazon, Apple, um, Alibaba, etc. Um, they're going to do quite well. ASOS is one, a UK stock um, that I'm particularly fond of that I think will do well through this quarter. Um, you, the UK is ending lockdown, kind of, but not really. So I, I think that's not really going to, that news won't affect the market um, too much. Although the on the other hand, it looks like the, a Brexit trade deal is getting closer and closer. There's still some uncertainty, but there's a lot of optimism around uh, the eventual outcome. If that were to happen, I would expect currencies to move in accordance with that as well as uh, UK stocks. Uh, just a reminder, I will be adding funds next week and I will add a link to this document that describes what I will be doing, the timeline and your options in the description of this video. Uh, this will be happening 1st of December. I will add money 8 a.m. UK time and that is Tuesday of next week. Uh, I have a lot of new copiers through the past 30 days or so. Um, if you do have questions, please take a look at my FAQ. It will be, the link will be in the description of the video too. But uh, if you find that you have a question that doesn't fit into the, the Q&A here, feel free to ask me with an eToro. All right, I think that is about it for today. Um, have a great Friday and I will talk to everyone next week. Thank you.